What's up folks, welcome to another episode of the Tin Horse Money YouTube channel and as norm, we are out here in the middle of the day. Didn't get out in the water until almost noon. We got a little bit of a breeze, bluebird skies, and it is summertime. It's fall, but it feels like summertime. Air temperature like 90 degrees. We got some humidity, so hot day in the middle of the day in the fall is tough fishing. I'm doing something different. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna go on this little venture together and see if I can get some bites. I was sitting around work thinking about this the other day and there's a lot of small bait in the grass. The big stuff hasn't really moved in here, but you got a lot of, a lot of bluegill, a lot of small bait fish. And we're gonna rig one of these up on a ball head, like a shaky head, throw it around. Let's we'll see if we can catch some fish. <laughs> All right, folks, here's the plan today. I've got a lot of little bluegill in the grass, and man, I love catching fish all different ways. That's the beauty of fishing is there's so many different ways to catch fish, and I like experimenting. I like bringing you guys different content on how to catch fish, and that's what we're doing today. I've never done this before, but I think I'm going to be able to catch some fish, and we've just got a Missile Baits Baby Destroyer. This is GP3. I kind of rediscovered this trailer recently on the back of a jig. I did a video not too long ago on, you know, this is, why is nobody talking about this jig trailer type of thing? And check that out. But this thing is a great jig trailer. But what we're doing today is I've just got a little 3 16 ounce shaky head. It's made by Big Bite Bay. It's got a black, you know, black head. I think black is key. You don't want a white one. Got eight pound test, so light line. And I'm just taking this little destroyer and I'm rigging it up. Kind of like you would do a swim bait, but I think the difference is this really mimics bluegill, and there's a lot of bluegill up in the grass. A lot of really small, like inch and a half, two inch bluegill stuff that just spawned this year. And I know there's got to be some fish feeding on it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to rig that up just like that. Um, this is a really cool bait. Great jig trailer, like I said earlier, Texas rig, just great little finesse bait. We're in the middle of the day, it's fall. Fall fishing is tough, the middle of the day is tough. So I'm gonna think, I mean, I'm thinking we can catch some fish doing this. Like I said, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna throw this thing around. We're gonna focus on some of these main lake points and some of those grass edges. That's where I'm seeing a lot of this small bait. I'm looking at small bait right now. The stuff's like this, it's everywhere. And there's fish feeding on them. And you know, a lot of times they're just gonna ignore a bigger bait. I know you guys that are not finesse fishermen are probably not interested in this video, but bear with me. We'll see if we can catch some. I am throwing some pretty finessey stuff. I've just got my drop shot rod. This is a, St. Croix Legends Extreme 6 foot 10 medium light action. I've got 15 pound braid on 8 pound fluorocarbon. We're just going to go around, see if we can pick up a few fish. Trying something different, especially when it starts working. Yes. Man, you're hammering this thing. Middle of the day, the bite's tough. But just picking up a little finesse bait, and man, your line's getting tight. Your line is getting tight, and it keeps you out here. We got like. Almost 90 degrees out here, a little bit of a breeze, but full sunshine. And middle of the day, it's like noon. And we're catching some fish. Catching some fish on a different technique. And that is always fun.
So I'm throwing this bait on my drop shot rod. This is a St. Croix Legends Extreme. It's a six foot 10 medium light. You could definitely throw this bait on a medium. You just want something kind of light because this bait is light. You got eight pound test, 15 pound fluorocarbon, and I'm kind of staying in the wind and I'm just kind of casting down this outside grass line. The grass sits down there at about seven, eight feet of water and I'm just slow rolling it. Just throwing it out, slow rolling it. You get in that grass, pop it a little bit. This thing doesn't come through grass very well at all. So if you do get hit that grass, a lot of times you gotta reel it in and just kind of get that grass off of there. But we're just trying to trigger these fish that are sitting down in that grass. You know, they won't come up right now in the middle of the day. It's fall time. It's notoriously tough in the fall time, no matter where you're at. And you can hop a bait through that grass down deep on the bottom, but a lot of times the fish just kind of watch it go by, and go by. But if something's swimming across the top, something really small like this, there's a bite right there. Um, They'll reach up and grab it. They'll come out of that grass and grab it. There he is. All right. That's fun. I mean, I'm just, you know, we're not catching giants. And, and you will catch a giant on this. You catch a bigger fish because they're going to come up and grab that. What's going on is there's a lot of bluegill in the grass right now. A lot of small bluegill. Stuff that's, you know, like two inches or less. And there's a lot of small bait in the grass. And this right here definitely mimics the small bluegill that are swimming around in this grass. But just covering water, kind of standing in the wind points the sides of these points you know the first 100 yards going back into a cove seem to be the areas where we're catching some fish we're going to keep doing this because i'm having fun there he is uh, little whippersnapper <laughs> ate it though he ate it go fun fun in the sun Fall is nothing but a calendar date. It's still summertime out here. There you go. Put that right up on that grass line. That fish came out of nowhere and hammered it. There you go. Right. Hey, we're getting on line tight. Toughest time of the day. And we still catching some fish. That's what it's all about. Getting beat. This is a perfect mat. It's very alive. <laughs> you can hear all the bait popping. Hear that? Popcorn, Rice Krispies. That's what you're looking for. Mat's topped out. You got a mix of wood in here. Got a deep water out here and you got a nice little edge. Got little dragonflies. Just got a lot of life. That's what you're looking for. frog bite man it's getting that time of year starting to see some bait in the grass and so i take a little break and uh put that little destroyer away <sighs> that's fun Whew. man you gotta have a good heart for that stuff though jeez Casting this little destroyer out there. Kind of slow rolling through that grass. I had like four bites right here. Probably would recommend a little bit stouter rod than this. Big old ball bait up here shallow. Bait is finally starting to move in here tight to the bank. Oh, 
is one. Right. Hey, man, I tell you what, this is fun. A little peewees today, but so what, man? It's tough out here. I've been trying a bunch of different baits, just kind of mixing it up, and I can't get bit on really anything but this. So, tough day. It's definitely something to throw around. At least get your line tight. There we go. Little guy. That's all we're catching. Just little guys. Little, little peewees. All right, folks. Here you go. That's going to wrap it up, man. Um, it was fun. Caught quite a few fish. They were all small, but thoughts on this. The Missile Baits Baby Destroyer on a little jig head. I think it's a great way to catch fish. Obviously today I didn't catch anything big. I do think you could catch some big fish if you're just in the right area, but we're fall time, middle of the day, tough conditions, and I, I really think if I would have just drug something around and fished, you know, a worm or something, I probably wouldn't have got a lot of bites. I think I got more bites on this, and it was fun. This would be great for just taking somebody out in the summertime, late fall, or late summer, early fall, when it's really tough, and still being able to catch some fish, keep your lines tight. But try it out, man. Um, when it's tough, nothing else is working, and you just want to get your line tight, throw this little sucker around. Probably great for your son, daughter, grandchildren. And I think it does have a place in maybe tournament fishing when you need some smaller fish. Say you got a slot limit lake, and you need some of those smaller fish just to fill out your limit. Not a bad idea to pick this little sucker up, or if you just can't get a bite and you just want to go down the bank, cover some water, not drag something around really slow. Um, this will generate some bites 